He said, for this cause shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall be joined unto his wife and they too shall be one flesh. First of all, I would like to draw your attention to the use of the word shall in the scripture. For the Bible says that the two shall become one flesh. It is something that will be achieved in a process of time. The two will not just instantly become one flesh. They shall become one flesh. And so when you find a husband married to a wife, it will take a, a process of time in order for that oneness to be realized. It is possible for couples to dwell together and after 20 years, oneness has not been achieved. But you see, the, there is a premise upon which this hope rests. First of all, are you there? Are you there? First of all, the Bible reveals that anyone that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit with him. And if indeed I'm joined unto the Lord, and my wife is joined unto the Lord, there is a oneness at that level. All right? Do you get that? Now, meanwhile, how did you become joined unto the Lord? You believed in your heart, the Lord Jesus, and you confessed with your mouth that God raised him from the dead. There was something your heart believed. There was something your heart, your mouth confessed. And then a miracle took place in the spirit. Have you ever attended a wedding before? If you attend a wedding and you see the proceedings of the wedding, you'll find out that the wedding ceremony is predicated on an inner conviction that has been captured by the couple. And so what they come to do on the wedding day is to confess it, is to proclaim it, and to bind themselves with an oath on the account of the convictions that they have sustained in their spirit. That's the same way you got born again. And that's the same way marriage is contracted. There's a conviction within and a confession without. But don't forget that we are uniquely one in the spirit. Is that clear? Oh yeah, you are not following me. We are uniquely one in the spirit. For the Bible says that anyone that is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. And that's why it's not possible, it's not allowable for a believer to be yoked with an unbeliever. It's because the possibility of oneness in the spirit does not exist. And as such, there is no destiny, no possibility of oneness in the flesh, even if you guys dwell together for a thousand years. So the hope of the oneness that can be found in the natural is predicated upon a mystical union, a mystical unity that exists in Christ Jesus. And so when two such individuals that are members of the body of Christ come into that level of conviction and partnership in the institution of marriage, the Bible is saying that there is a great hope and the hope is that the two shall become one flesh. Why one flesh? Because they are already one in spirit through our baptism into Christ Jesus. That oneness exists. But it is possible for that oneness not to be achieved even in the flesh, even though it exists in the spirit.